I just thought I'd manage it. When So It Goes finished after two seasons, quite rightly, because Granada were tired of people with horses' tails sticking out of their arses, which I think was the way they described Iggy Pop. Um, I wanted to stay involved with what, all the things that I was with, working with, with music. music and, and a friend of mine was managing a band, Mr. Erasmus, who's over there, and I helped him manage the band. And we needed a gig for somewhere to play and then needed a record company. It's called Praxis, but we won't go into that because it's really not the So fa Factory's been, been really successful and you ended up building the building Hacienda. There's one thing that everybody is always asking us, why you call it a Hacienda? Is there a reason? Yeah, we found it inscribed on a <coughs> tablet at our last gig. So that's, uh, that's, that's completely so untrue. It's the kind of answer that you want to give in all our interviews, and we'd not like to change the myth now. <laughs> this is, by the way, Peter Hook from New Order. Um, for those, those viewers who want to know, those of you who didn't see Kevin's <laughs> wonderful pictures of him on the stage. Obviously, you've been really successful with Factory, with Joy Division and New Order. Mm -hmm. What about the other groups that's, that are on the label that haven't done quite so well? Do you think there's a reason why? Stockholm oh. Monsters, yeah, and the, the many others. <clears throat> I think we got a problem the after you're fashionable, the way. 52nd Street. After you're fashionable, then you become unfashionable. Members of the rock press, such as the one we're going to bring in in a minute, um, know the way this sort of fashion X member, this fashion thing goes. And we suffered very badly from it because we were so successful and so notorious and well known. There then became a period when nothing could be done about, about the new bands and they were all stuck. And we have the best collection of young bands in the country, but right. maybe people but will know about it. Right, some will. Let's, let's, let's bring in this ex member of the music press. This is man, is Mr. Paul Morley. The reason we he, got him he, here actually is to say how some people stay in Manchester, do nothing to do with this program. And some people leave and go to London. Quit uh, you, Paul, you. Paul Morley, can, can, don't we, can use we start? Bad languages. Can, ah, can, can we start? Can I ask first? Paul Morley is the man behind ZTT Records, whose first first single, Frankie Goes Hollywood, is currently number one in the charts at the moment. Now, why did you get to start a label? And that's without the swear words, if we can. It's very complicated. I mean, it gave me a chance, to, first of all, to work with the best record producer in the world, which meant that he would produce that's the Trevor best Horn. songs so that I could do some things that were influenced by factory records that meant when we got to number one, the intelligence and the imagination that you don't often get with London record companies, in fact, you never get, would therefore be involved. Why is there, why is there this um, sort of antagonism between the two it's labels? There's not an antagonism. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, he just mentioned us, and the fact that he gives any reference to us in the wonderful thing that he's doing gives me a great deal of pleasure. I mean, we both have this, we're theoretically very similar yeah, form. Exactly. Right. Most groups always say about their biggest influences. As a record label, the biggest influence in terms of its presentation was definitely factory. Because record labels in London, London's the most boring place in the world, and people who work for record companies are stupid. And I just wanted to show that imagination... You're, you're separating I'm yourself from that, I'll take it. You're separating sure. you're, you're, you're both of yourselves from being stupid, I'll take it, and working for record labels. Oh, come on, John, relax, calm down. Oh, relax, the, the title of the single that's what currently said, number one. Intelligence and imagination, and that's all. No messing about, no... None of the awful right. dirty well, these, these are the people that are in charge of Manchester's record labels, and in now we're going to see <laughs> no. a video of ABC. You're back in Manchester, you're back in, you're back in Manchester again.